Hello everyone. <coughs> um, today in this session we are going to see about CAT standards. So before going into the session we should know about what is CAD. CAD is nothing but the use of computer systems to assist in the creation, modification, analysis or optimization of a design. This is also known as computer aided drafting which describes the process of creating a technical drawing with the use of computer software. And then what is meant by standards? Standards are a set of rules for ensuring quality so that we can able to get a very good fine design. So uh, our topic CAT standards. The purpose of CAT standard is that the CAT software should not be device independent and should connect to any input device via device driver and to any graphics display. So it should not be a device independent one which means n number of systems should follow only one standard. So all the systems should follow the same set of rules. The graphic system is divided into two parts. The kernel system which is hardware independent and the device driver which is hardware dependent. Like that we have, uh, know that uh, mouse, keyboard and all it should have a driver to operate. So similarly it is a uh, hardware dependent one uh, and then the kernel system which is a software dependent and so it is not a hardware dependent one. So what are all the available CAD standards for the designing purpose. So first one graphic standards standards for exchange images, data exchange standards and communication standards. These are all the four standards available for the perfect designing work. And these standards are subclassified into several which are graphic standards, graphic kernel system, fix programmers hierarchical interface for graphics, NAP LPS, North American Presentation Level Protocol Syntax, GKS in 3D, IGES, Initial Graphics Exchange Specification. These are all comes under graphic standards which means uh, like our circle, line, polygon, these are all the geometrical shapes. So how it can be viewed in the system and how the system takes a line, a circle or a polygon etc. So these are all comes under graphics standards and then standards for exchange images open graphics laboratory or open graphics library which means uh, if there may be a yeah, more number of softwares present in the designing area so each area each softwares should have these standards like a geometrical shapes definition so and how they are exchanging the images between the softwares that comes under standards for exchange images. Next one data exchange standards which means the complete data of the entire design or drafting from one software to another software which may be carried out through IGES, STEP, DXF, STL, CALS, PDES, VRML, CGM etc. The expansions are given in the slide itself. You may see in the slide. And then communication standards how the entire data is transferred from one area to another like if the design work is going on in India the same design should be uh, transferred to like United Kingdom or USA then we can able to transfer the entire data through these communication standards LAN, WAN, CGI, VDA so LAN is nothing but local area network we can able to share between the buildings or blocks WAN wide area network you can able to transfer throughout the globe and CGI computer generated imagery and VDA virtual desktop infrastructure these are all communication standards so other exchange format standards are ACIS VDI CGI VDM CGM GKSM PDS VRML these are all nothing but the exchange formats and then the standards so they are using that uh, the complete design. A complete design includes basic shapes like 
point, line, circle, polygon, etc., which comes under geometry. And by this geometry, we can able to frame primitives like a uh, cube, a uh, 3D objects. So with the 3D objects, we can able to collide the uh, object through Boolean operations like um, addition, subtraction, intersection, etc. And then the entire design. Finally, we can able to get the entire design and with that design, we can able to uh, view the product in a imaginary file. Then from this file, we can able to transfer to another system or another software or another area by this exchange formats only. And then the types of translators, direct translators, indirect translators. Direct translators, nothing but from one system to another system, we can able to translate the data in a single step. In indirect translator, a neutral file is framed and which and with that neutral file, we can able to transfer another software. It may take more times because it requires pre-processing and post-processing of that neutral file. So we can able to see that in a image. Um, here, direct translator. In this direct translator from a software in a system to another software in another system, CAD A to CAD B, we can able to directly transfer the data. And with the n number of system, n number of software, we can able to transfer the data in a single step. And with that indirect translator, a neutral file, which means a data from a system is framed to a neutral file, formed into a neutral file. And this neutral file helps to transfer the data from CAD A and then to CAD B and then CAD C, CAD D so that the CAD A requires pre-processing and post-processing of this neutral file so that CAD A will work on that design. Similarly, B and C and then D. the CAD functions. What are all the CAD functions? Graphics, output primitives, attributes, geometric transformations, shading elimination, input functions. In graphics output primitives like line, polygon, sphere, etc. These are all graphics which is also known as geometrical shapes. And then attributes. Attributes gives the color of the object, line, width, texture, etc. And then geometric modeling, uh, modeling, viewing. These are all covers the previous unit which is already posted in the previous videos. And then shading and illumination. And then input functions. Input Here input function is nothing but from one software to another software, how the file is converted through this input functions only. So graphics standards. So uh, before this slide, we had seen that what is meant by CAT standards and what are all the formats available in the CAT standard so that we can able to transfer the data from one software to another software and also one area to another area. From this slide, in this, we can uh, see that graphics standards. So here, graphic database. Graphic database is nothing but the entire geometrical shapes and then primitives. Primitives is nothing but the objects framed from the basic shapes. So which are transferred from one software to another software through this exchange formats only. This is drawing, IGES, STEP, SET. These are all exchange formats to that application program. Um, for example, I will give an example. So if we uh, drafted an object in a CAD, which means AutoCAD. So um, from that file, we have to analyze the object so that we will get an exchange format like this. And through this format, we will M import the uh, AutoCAD drawing into an analysis file and we can able to analysis that object in an ANSYS software or some other analysis software. So here what are all the softwares we are using that comes under application program. And then the output of the program is again viewed through this kind of exchange formats which is nothing but graphics functions. So and with this graphic function, we can able to see it in a device through VDI, VDM, NAP, LPS. These are all 
present in the previous slides the expansion of this uh, exchange formats are present in the previous slide so this requires a driver to display the graphics function in the device display so this is nothing but the graphics standard algorithm so with this the primary shapes are drawn or drafted in an separate application like AutoCAD uh, several other drafting softwares are available so whatever the application and then with this application we can able to transfer that data into another software through these kind of exchange formats and with the graphics function the working on the graphic function with this exchange formats of the graphics database the end object can be visually seen in the device display through the display driver which is a software dependent one and with this exchange formats so from this slide we can able to differentiate the computer aided design or drafting without a graphic standard and with this graphic standard so the algorithm is graphics database which gives the primitives and basic uh, geometrical shapes and application program like AutoCAD, SOLIDWORKS, UniGraphics, etc. And the graphic function. Graphic function is nothing but how the object is viewed in the display. How the system or the application program giving the output display which can be seen through this graphic function only. The input or output devices we can able to see the object. And with the graphic standard the X and Y are the two primary functions of this graphic standard. The X is nothing but the kernel system which is a software dependent one and not a hardware dependent and then the Y device driver is a software dependent one not a hardware sorry device driver is dependent on hardware okay and with this a standard graphics is framed and so so what are the shapes we are using in the n number of application with this graphic standard we can able to see the output in any software in any system or in any area also. So CAD with the graphic standards have more advantages than without the standard. So what are the need for graphic standard? The real issue with choosing the standard is portability and device independence. So if a data is framed or object is drawn or drafted with the graphic standard through exchange formats we can able to port the data from one place to another so which comes under device independence which means in any type of device with the standards and the exchange formats we can able to switch the data and then complex CATCAM systems shape non-shape design and manufacturing data need to integrate and automate design and manufacturing process to obtain maximum benefits from CADCAM direct translators and neutral formats so if you are using direct translator then there will be no use of neutral formats in case of indirect translators neutral formats is required so and then the need for portability of the geometric model among different hardware platforms different hardware platforms is nothing but um, either uh, we will use a separate graphics in order to get the display of the object a very clear a very keen and a notifiable product and if, if we use a slower hardware then we will get the design or drafting in a poor display poor graphics for the exchange of drawing database among software packages and then need for exchanging graphic data between different computer system so these are all the needs for graphic standards and this we will end this session and in the next session what are all the graphic standards like gks igs step uh, those under all covered in the next sessions upcoming sessions so thank you